Ever wondered how to cook delicious meals on a budget? Well, folks, let me tell you, it's not only possible, but it's also a delightful adventure. This journey we're embarking on today is all about making your dollar stretch farther without compromising on flavor or satisfaction. You see, budget-friendly cooking isn't about skimping on taste or settling for less. It's about being smart, creative, and resourceful in your kitchen. It's about planning, using what you have, and making the most of seasonal and local produce. It's about understanding that you don't always need to splash out on premium ingredients to create something truly scrumptious. So buckle up, because we're about to dive into a world of budget-friendly cooking that's going to tantalize your taste buds and leave your wallet feeling fuller. By the end of this video, you will be armed with tips and tricks to make your budget stretch further in the kitchen. The first step to cooking on a budget is planning. Now this may sound like a chore, but I promise you, it's not as daunting as it seems. In fact, it's your secret weapon to saving those dollars. Let's break it down. When we say meal planning, it's not just about deciding what's for dinner tonight or lunch tomorrow. It's about looking at the week or even the month ahead and figuring out your meals in advance. You might be thinking, that sounds like a lot of work, but here's the thing. It actually saves you time, effort, and yes, money in the long run. Imagine this. Instead of making daily trips to the store, you're going just once or twice a week. You're not wandering aimlessly down aisles throwing random items into your cart. No, you have a list. You know exactly what you need, you're in and out in no time and you're not buying more than necessary. That's the magic of meal planning. But how do you create a meal plan? Well, start by taking a good look at what you already have in your pantry. You'd be surprised at the meals you can whip up with what's already there. Next, check out the sales. There's no harm in planning your meals around what's on discount. You're not only saving money, but also experimenting with different ingredients and recipes. Now, let's talk about batch cooking. It's exactly what it sounds like, cooking in large quantities. It's an absolute lifesaver on those busy days when you don't have the time or energy to cook. Make a large batch of chili or spaghetti sauce, freeze the leftovers and voila, you've got meals ready to go for days. Remember, meal planning isn't about restriction, it's about being strategic with your resources. It's about maximizing what you have and minimizing waste. And most importantly, it's about enjoying delicious, satisfying meals without stretching your budget. Remember, a well-planned meal is a budget-friendly meal. Next, let's talk about shopping smart. Now, you might be wondering, what does shopping smart have to do with cooking on a budget? Well, it's simple. By being mindful of what we put in our shopping carts, we can save money while also preparing healthier, tastier meals. And one of the best ways to do this is to shop seasonal and local. Buying seasonal produce is not only a great way to support local farmers, but it's also a fantastic strategy to lower your grocery bills. You see, when fruits and veggies are in season, they're abundant, and this abundance often leads to lower prices. Plus, because these items don't have to travel long distances, they're usually fresher and tastier than out-of-season produce. But what exactly is in season? Well, it depends on your location and the time of year. For instance, in the fall, you might find apples, pumpkins, and squash at your local farmer's market. In the spring, fresh greens, asparagus, and strawberries might be more abundant. So do a little research, find out what's in season near you, and plan your meals around these items. And speaking of local, let's talk about the benefits of buying from your community. When you shop locally, you're not just supporting your local economy, you're also getting fresher, often higher quality produce. That's because local foods don't have to travel far, which means they're picked at peak ripeness and make it to your kitchen faster. Local farmers markets are a great place to start. Not only can you find a variety of fresh seasonal produce, but you can also often find locally sourced meats, dairy, and eggs. Plus, shopping at these markets is a fantastic way to discover new fruits and veggies you might not find at your regular grocery store. So the next time you're making your shopping list, consider what's in season and what's local. You might be surprised at how much money you can save and how much flavor you can add to your meals. Smart shopping means more savings and fresher meals. A well-stocked pantry can be a lifesaver when you're cooking on a budget. It's like having a culinary safety net always there to catch you when you're out of fresh ingredients or simply need to whip up a meal in a hurry. Let's start with rice. This versatile grain is a staple in cuisines around the world, and for good reason. It's filling, 
it's inexpensive, and it pairs well with just about anything. From a simple side of steamed rice to a comforting bowl of rice pudding, this humble pantry staple is a true workhorse in the kitchen. Next up, we have beans. Whether they're canned or dried, beans are a great source of protein and fiber. They're perfect for bulking up soups and stews, or starring in their own right in dishes like chili or beans on toast. Plus, if you opt for dried beans, you'll be getting even more bang for your buck. Pasta is another must-have pantry staple. It's quick, it's easy, and it's a crowd pleaser. You can toss it with some olive oil and garlic for a simple yet satisfying meal, or dress it up with a homemade sauce. And let's not forget about canned goods. Canned tomatoes, for instance, can turn into a delicious pasta sauce or a base for a hearty stew. Canned fruits, on the other hand, can be used in desserts or as a sweet addition to your morning oatmeal. Buying these pantry staples in bulk can save you money in the long run. You'll be less likely to make impulse purchases when you have a pantry full of ingredients ready to be turned into a meal. Plus, these items have a long shelf life, so you don't have to worry about them going bad before you get a chance to use them. With a well-stocked pantry, you're already halfway to a delicious, budget-friendly meal. So the next time you're at the grocery store, don't forget to stock up on these pantry staples. Your wallet and your taste buds will thank you. Did you know that reducing your meat consumption can also reduce your grocery bill? It might seem like a tall tale, but it's true, my friends. When we think about it, meat is often the most expensive item on our shopping lists. But you know what? There are countless vegetarian meals that are not only cheaper, but also deeply satisfying and downright delicious. Let's take a moment to envision a hearty three-bean chili simmering on the stove, the aroma wafting through your home, inviting and comforting. Or how about a vegetable stir-fry, where the vibrant colors of bell peppers, broccoli, and carrots dance together in a symphony of flavor and nutrition. And let's not forget the humble lentil soup, a simple yet soul-warming dish that's packed with protein. These meals are more than just cost-effective, they're also packed with an array of nutrients that our bodies crave. Vegetables are powerhouses of vitamins, minerals, and fiber, which contribute to good health in countless ways. Eating more vegetables can help maintain a healthy weight, reduce the risk of heart disease, and even improve your skin's health. And let's not overlook the environmental benefits. Raising livestock for meat, eggs, and milk generates 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. By choosing more plant-based meals, we're also doing our part to reduce our environmental footprint. Of course, this doesn't mean you need to give up meat entirely. It's all about balance, and even small changes can make a significant impact. Maybe it's as simple as dedicating one day a week to meatless meals. Or perhaps it's swapping out a meat-based ingredient for a plant-based one in your favorite recipe. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself. It's about exploring new flavors, enjoying a variety of foods, and making choices that benefit both your wallet and your health. And who knows? You might just discover your new favorite dish in the process. By eating less meat and more veggies, you'll be saving money and boosting your health. So, what have we learned about cooking on a budget? Well. We've discovered that planning is your best ally when it comes to saving money in the kitchen. By mapping out your meals in advance, you're less likely to make impulsive purchases and more likely to make efficient use of what you've got. We've also taken a trip to the local market, where we've seen how shopping seasonally and locally can save us a penny or two. Fresh, in-season produce not only tastes better, but is also usually cheaper. Next, we explored the power of a well-stocked pantry. With a few versatile staples on hand, you're equipped to whip up a meal in no time, avoiding costly takeout or convenience foods. Lastly, we've learned that going meatless more often can be both budget-friendly and beneficial for our health. Remember, cooking on a budget doesn't mean sacrificing flavor or satisfaction. Happy cooking, y'all!